Hello, dear friends. I want to share with you how you can use the common dandelion to reverse eczema and psoriasis. I know this sounds really far-fetched, but dandelion is a very gentle healer and most people have no idea that it even has any medicinal properties at all. So I'm going to help you guys put to use this lovely little herb. While I'm picking dandelions, let me tell you a few of the benefits of dandelions and then we'll actually go and make some different things that we can use to help with ailments, especially psoriasis and eczema, but also general ailments to help cleanse your liver and help you feel better. Dandelions are particularly high in vitamin K. They hold about 650% of your daily intake, the dandelion leaves. And by the way, all parts of dandelions are edible. The flowers, the stems, the leaves, the roots, everything is edible. Dandelions particularly have wonderful vitamins A, C, E, and K. They have iron, potassium, magnesium, and folate. So they're really good all-around herbs, but they are also considered bitter herbs. And this is something that has really disappeared from our modern diets. Bitter herbs are key to stimulating the liver to produce bile and function properly. If your liver isn't functioning properly, it won't absorb the maximum nutrients from your food. So whether that is a dietary supplement or normal food, your liver won't absorb what it should be absorbing from that. So you can be taking the very best, most expensive dietary supplements, and if your liver is not in tip-top shape, you won't be getting what you need from those supplements to actually help heal you. So liver is actually top priority as well as gut health for healing psoriasis or eczema or any kind of skin condition and many other things, many other autoimmune diseases. Let's identify dandelions now. Dandelions have this lovely flowery head but the stems are just plain. They don't have any scales or bumps or fluff. There is a little bit of, you know, teeny tiny hairs on them, and the leaves are also very plain. They aren't fluffy or furry. And down the back, you have a very prominent vein. Dandelions are very easy to identify. If you pull them up, you'll also see a very big, large main root going down and maybe some teeny tiny roots coming off of that. Just to let you know that dandelion actually helped my husband and my son really heal up from their skin conditions. One had eczema, one had psoriasis. So straight away I'm going to make a an oil infused dandelion flower head oil to make a salve later out of. Whenever you're using the flowers of dandelions, or any plant for that matter, a lot of the medicinal properties are found in the pollen, so for that reason, I never ever wash the flower heads. What we're going to be doing is popping these flower heads in a clean jar with any cold pressed oil. So I'm just using extra virgin olive oil, which I know is cold pressed. I stress cold pressed because there are an abundance of nutrients that get destroyed when the oil is heated. So for this reason, we're using cold press so we can get maximum nutrients. So I'm just hey, taking off the stems. You can see this is all lots of pollen coming off. This is good stuff. Dandelion heads are full of natural compounds that are anti-inflammatory. So this is why it's so good for eczema and psoriasis because it is so soothing. It calms the skin, it calms all the irritation, and it puts a lot of hydration into your skin or wherever you're using it. So I'm just putting all these dandelion heads in, taking the stems off, and then I'm going to cover this with oil, really pack it down, and put more oil on. And I want to say make sure your dandelion heads are under the oil. Some people take um, like glass beads or some something heavy or a stone, a washed stone, and put it on top of the dandelion heads to hold them down under the oil. Because if they come up above the oil, after a few weeks, they'll start to mold. So they have to be under the oil and usually it takes about five weeks to infuse. And you'll notice the color changing 
And once you strain all this oil out of the dandelions, you'll also see that the bottom has a lot of sludge. And that's good because that's all your pollen and that's exactly what you want. Okay, so we have all of our washed dandelion leaves and I am going to just pop them again into a clean jar after I chop them up and cover them with some vinegar, some strong, just plain white vinegar. You can use any vinegar you want. You can use apple cider vinegar. And this is really going to act as a digestive help. So this is going to be kind of a bitter herb digestive assistant. And the same thing, pop it in, you can pop them in fresh or you can dry these. You can dry the dandelion heads and make an infused oil that way. So you can make it in the middle of the winter if you want, or you can make it fresh with fresh, doesn't matter, fresh or dried. So I'm stuffing them into the jar. You can also make a tincture out of pure alcohol. So that would be in the UK about 40 proof and in the USA it would be 80 proof. It's the same alcohol content, it's just different names for it. I don't know why they're different names, but for this I'm not using alcohol. I'm, I prefer vinegar, but this is just personal preference. So after I have my dandelions in here, I'm pressing them down, dandelion leaves and stems, and for the tops of the leaves I'm just going to make a fresh salad and eat them. You can also eat the heads. Like I said, they are very bitter and this is excellent for stimulating your liver to produce bile and it's really a help. You should have in your diet bitter herbs every single day. I know people don't like to munch on dandelion leaves, but dandelion leaves are so full of natural minerals that they can actually assist with remineralizing your teeth. Sorry, that was a mouthful. <laughs> remineralizing your teeth. So they do have a lot of benefits. So I just have some iceberg lettuce and rockets and chopped dandelion leaves. And if you're having something bitter, it usually helps to have something very like acidic or sour with it to kind of help uh, neutralize the bitterness and make it more palatable. The younger dandelions are not as bitter. The older dandelion leaves are more bitter. All of them are beneficial. And this is my finished salad and my two um, infusions. One is a tincture, the vinegar is a tincture, and the other one is going to be an oil infusion that we will turn into a salve in just a second. Okay, it's now five weeks later. And that's how long your oil infusion should sit before you use it. Five weeks in a cool, dry place. So in a cupboard or even on the countertop is fine, just not in direct sunlight. And the same goes for the tincture. I have two different types of tallow here and I will show you in another video how I get my tallow because I make it myself and it comes off the top of a batch of bone broth. So it's two different colors because one I took the fat off earlier and then the second part was I took the fat off later and so they ended up being two different colors. I'm just pouring in the oil. That's all I'm doing, just pouring oil in tallow. You can put this oil, if you don't have tallow, use, um, you can use shea butter, you can use coconut oil, you can use any natural cold pressed oil that is good for going on skin. So I'm just melting these all together and mixing it up and then I'm just gonna let, let it harden. I could actually just use the pure um, olive oil with just a little bit of beeswax melted into it and whisked up really, really good. And that would also give kind of a, help it set and get more firm. So I'll just tell you guys the quick difference between a salve and a balm. Salves are just runnier and balms are more firm. So it that's all it is. More beeswax or less beeswax, depending on the consistency you prefer, or harder tallow or less harder tallow. By the way, lard works excellent. Lard, like tallow, is full of fat-soluble vitamins that are so good for skin. I cannot stress how good they are and I also cannot stress how much the food industry 
has demonized lard trying to get everyone to use vegetable oils and other things but lard is wonderful for your skin and for cooking so I'm just pouring this off and I'm going to make also a little um, kind of dandelion vinaigrette to put on my salad and then I can have just like a tablespoon of this every day and consider that my bitter herbs I've had every day. So you can see from the jar of my dandelion stems that have been sitting in vinegar that a lot of the color has gone away from them and the color has actually gone into the vinegar. So the vinegar is a little bit slightly green and that's a good sign. That means all the nutrition has gone out from the leaves into the vinegar. And the same with the oil. A lot of the dandelion, the oil changes color. So this is my vinaigrette. Now I can just pour it on my salad or do whatever I want with it. You can make a big jar of this up. Just keep it in a cool, dry place and you're good to go. It is an excellent help with digestion. Okay, so our salve is nice and hardened up and it's beautiful. It goes on smooth as silk, very soft, very luscious, very moisturizing, and very soothing. Perfect for children, for babies, it's very gentle. Can I just say a huge thank you to all of you who have watched all the way to the end. I really, really appreciate you. And just to say my big thank you to you, I'd like to give you a free gift. I decided to draw a set of dandelions um, with the herbal benefits and medicinal uses. And you can grab that free download in the description. Also, this is the first video I've ever done of this sort with all this information in it. My husband and son both healed up from skin issues and I have... A year's worth of research and um, things that we tried that worked really well that I will be making into videos. So to help that get out, could you please share this video with a friend? There's so much good information out there and if you found this helpful, please do share it. This helps the channel um, in a huge way. Um, one more thing. Could you please critique this video? Have I babbled too much? Because I do tend to babble. Was there too much information packed into this video? Would you like um, more written words and less talking? More nature scenes and less in the house scenes? Just give me your general thoughts so I can kind of gauge how I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video.